You know, I talk a lot about vitamin D, but I wouldn't recommend taking vitamin D by itself. I would always take vitamin K2 with vitamin D because vitamin D3 increases calcium absorption in your intestines by 20 times. And that ends up in the blood. So you can have a lot of calcium in the blood, which can be a problem for people, especially if they're prone to kidney stones or arthritis. But vitamin K2 comes to the rescue and that takes the calcium from the blood and pushes it into the bone. One of the really important things that vitamin K2 does is to prevent soft tissue calcium from accumulating. And that could be in your arteries or the joints or any organ. So to protect you against any potential side effects of vitamin D3, make sure you take vitamin K2 at the same time. And as far as the ratios go, for every 10,000 I use of vitamin D3, take 100 micrograms of vitamin K2. Guys, Dr. Berg is right. It is imperative you take these vitamins together. This by Nutrition Geeks has vitamin D3 and K2 together. One tablet contains 4,000 IU of D3 and 100 milligrams of K2. You get 365 tablets, so it will last you all year round. It's on a flash sale right now for $9.99, but with the right vouchers, you can get it for even cheaper. I'll leave a link here if you want to check it out.